back to episode 13 of our Let's Play on Dramord Farm. So we're at the shop today because we're going to be selling our feeder. We have got... Um, I've managed to edit the uh, Keenan feeder to take the same amount as this feeder. Um, just so, you know, I can actually get them more maxed out and everything. So if we sell that... 126,000... There it is. I don't know what that is. It's just so as you can see, 116, well, 16,000, sorry. Or whatever, I don't fucking know. There it is. Right. Let's get you. Brum. Right, so we'll take this back to the farm first of all. We won't bother putting the PTO on, there's no need. So this is going to fit in well with this map because it is such a small feeder. And this is such a small map. <sighs> traffic. It's funny how the traffic doesn't go as fast as, you know, as fast as the tractors. Like, you can actually... You can actually beat these guys if you're quick enough. Look, in real life, a tractor would not be able to do that <laughs> unless it was a car going mega slow. <laughs> um, I've bailed all the fields, all the grass fields, so we're going to be doing them. We got, I think it was 53. Hang on, we'll have a quick look. 55 bales created so we've got 55 hay bales at least so we're okay for a bit and they're going to be the first ones in our new shed uh, I've got the sunflowers seeded in uh, all the f well in the arable field so they're both sunflowered um, I've got the class dominator back to the shed so that's back in its well that is in its place where it's going to live Uh, what else? Yeah, I haven't really done that much. I've been playing. I've been on this map ages. I've, I was doing a lot of tedding with that little John Deere. So I've done all that. Just need to get this back now. Uh, of course, we've got quite a lot of manure. We can go muck spreading again if we wanted to, or we can. Uh, I think we're going to put a load in the cow field and just sort of store it a bit. Now. I'll tell you what, we will do actually. We don't balls this up. We'll put this in here because there's nothing else in. Nothing else really goes in this shed. We'll put it in here with this. So we we'll kind of just leave the feet on it for now. So the case is here. So I've put the new seeding setup in there with the John Deere, um, and we've got the class here as well. It's very small equipment, but we've got quite a few bales in this field. We actually got a fair few out of most of the fields. So I've stacked how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're seven in this field. We're going to go on to field. We'll go to field 11, which is next door. Uh, I don't really know how long that's going to take. It shouldn't take too long to stack. But, uh, you never know, and I just crashed. But you never know in this game, you know, sometimes fields don't take long to stack and sometimes they take ages. Depends how the game feels, if it wants to not be a dick or if it wants to be a dick. Nine times out of ten the game wants to be a dick. And let your bales slide everywhere and make your bales all funny. So we've come around right over here. Now we're going to need to be in this lane, so we need to pray that nothing's coming down the hill. 
Because for some reason we can't actually see. Oh, it's going to get stuck on the fence like I knew it would. Um, I downloaded a another bale trailer that we're going to be using, which is not this long. Right, I knew this was going to be a problem. There we go. Fuck off out my life. That's the one good thing about this, being able to just turn the traffic off in in the settings is actually quite handy. Um, there was actually a rusty bale trailer released on the mod hub. It's twin axle. It's what? Well, it's twin. It's twin wheel, not twin axled. But it should uh, should be okay. Uh, we'll get it for. We'll get it in the next episode. Right, we'll turn traffic back on. I like to just turn traffic on and off as and when I need. <laughs> I haven't actually done that much in this uh, save game. Well, today at least, anyway. Uh, we'll get that one by the gate. There we go. I just wanted to get that feeder bought because I I actually had that. I edited the XML on it the other day when I downloaded it. Come on you little bastard. But it seems to be, uh, it's, it did actually work fine, I did, I tested it with bales and I got total mixed rations, uh, you know, completely so I was quite happy with that. It's when you don't get it, it's when it starts to piss you off. I mean people have commented ways around it which is good you know you could you could actually do it the ways that they've commented but I don't want to do that I just want to be able to make complete mixed rations within the feeder also I put the last of the silage bales through the biogas just because it was easier that way oh come on you little bastard why See, this is the one thing with bales. The second they touch each other, that's it. They just go haywire. Oh, come back here, you little bitch. I can already see this is going to be fun. Now, these fields aren't very full of uh, bales. I think there's about nine. There was nine in this one. I don't know how many there was in field ten, but there, was, there wasn't that many. But it's field. Uh, no, sorry. This is field 11, isn't it? Field 9 has got the most in. Um, so. I kind of keep forgetting that I have my entire steering wheel and joystick, but the problem is you have to use the mouse for the camera because I don't have track IR yet. This is a really big pain in the arse. So once all these bales are in, that should be it. We should have a fair few. We won't. They, it won't last too long, but it'll be enough to kind of tie us over for a couple of days. <laughs> a couple, a couple of days. You know, a couple of in-game days at least. Right. So we need to put... Right, we should be able to squeeze these on, in at the end. Right, let's try and do this in cab. How well can this go? Of course, this game has no depth of feel. Of course not. So I can't. You can't actually tell where you when you're close. Just might go and have a look. 
That's close enough. Oh, oh, oh fuck off. I'll tell you what, you tossing thing. You can stay there. Did not hit the wrong button. I wanted to go back out of cab, not fucking hook up back to the bail. Right, then we're going to have to take a few out of field 10 to uh, get that to... Well, we're going to have to stack field 10 on top of this load and then attempt to get these home. They should they should be alright. It's whether the 8340 will pull it is the other question. Now, I've already placed down the shed. I haven't bothered moving it. I've just placed it down as uh, easy enough to get at position which is uh, going to be good enough in episode 13 already you know we're nearly at the halfway mark nearly at 15 for fuck's sake you're not even touching fucking bales Right, tossy little things. Strap these all fucking down. At least you can do this now. Which is a lot better than... Why is that there? Which is a lot better than the old game, because you couldn't even do that in the old game. Which is 15. Which is actually... It's actually a lot more helpful to have... Being able to lock them down like that than it is to just leave them because I don't think any if any of you ever tried to use the bail the in-game bail uh, trailer in 15 it was a pig an absolute fucking pig not even just to keep square just to fucking just to use because it didn't have a locking script or anything on it used to be real fucking annoying. Of course for bales, I never stack bales that square on trailers, I don't know why. Even if I tried really hard off camera, I still wouldn't be able to get these very square. Oh fucking hell, it did not, it's not liking this. So as you can see, yeah, field, uh, field 9 is the biggest, well, field 9 has the most in. Is there even one here now? That one's totally pointless, it's just lying across the bed. At least we'll be able to just sort of stack them one by one. Right, so there's two in the hedge over there. We need to go get them. Sorry if the commentary is a bit uh, shit. I'm trying to. Th it's hard to try and talk and stack bales, uh, especially in this game, because bales are pigs. Absolute fucking pigs in this game. Look. That's a bit far forward. Bip. <laughs> right, let's get the two out of the hedge. It's actually a good thing these hedges have collisions on. Uh, it actually, this is so much easier. You know, they don't roll in the road or anything. Right. Oop. Long. Oh, it's not even on. Fucking hell. This is this is what pisses you off. Just trying to do this. I mean, I know there's auto stack trailers out there, but if you want to stack manually, you can't in this game. Well, not very well, but that's just me. But You know, the fucking... When the bales all misbehave and... Well, not misbehave, you know, go all freaky because they're right next to each other because 
that's what bales do in real life, as everybody knows. The second you stack a bale, a trailer full of bales, they all jiggle about and start to slide everywhere. I don't know why I do this to myself. I don't like using loose. I don't know why. I just... I don't like doing it. I like to just use bales. And that's it. I just use bales. I, I'm not... I mean, a lot of people do like to use the loose and just use the tip anywhere. It, is, it does save a lot of time and it is f real fast. You know, it's very quick. But I always, I've always liked doing bales, no matter how much it pisses me off. Right, two more. Two more in this trailer can go to the farm. We could really do with a load of tractor as well. Uh, simple reason, if we're doing this and this is here, then I'm, I've now got to drive this telehandler all the way back to the farm to unload this. Where is it? If I had a load of tractor, I'd just be able to unload them. I'll put one there as well on that end. So we should, if all if if all works out, we should get about three loads about three loads out of these fields. So there'll be we'll be able to finish this this uh, field on a trailer and then start that one on a trailer. Well, f start this one, finish in here, and then get another not even not a full trailer load, but at least another load out of that that field there. Which is what you want, really, isn't it? Just so you're not running back with any. Uh, there we go. Well, we'll take this. We'll run this back first. At least this thing's got a bit of pace to it. It's not. Doesn't. It's not sluggish. Now I think we won't. Well, I'm not going to bore you, and I'm not going to show all the stacking of bales. Um, simply because if people don't like seeing bales stacked or like me swearing, then it's uh, <laughs> it's not going to be very interesting for people because that's how I do it. If I stack bales and they piss me off, I swear. Um, we also own field 30, we need to not, we don't need, well, we best not forget about that, because I probably will. Um, we are, we're going to keep these fields for now, I haven't touched these fields yet, as in ploughing wise. Um, we're not going to do them. But yeah, we've got the new, new feeder, at least, so we've got something new on the farm, which is what some people ask me to get, so... You know, it's all good, and I I've edited it so I know it works. Um, it, I know it'll take complete mixed rations. Um, we should we'll be able to at least uh, get them all. We're just gonna leave them hay bales there for now. This is this way, isn't it, to the shed? Yeah, there should be. Should the shed should be in here? There it is. So as you can see, yeah, I've just put it on the side. It's e it's just easier. I'll be able to pull the trailer in straight and put the bales in. Now I think Shawnee B did this, so I'm, I'm kind of nicking his idea, but it is good. Oh, let's get the John Deere. Not the John Deere. Let's not call this a John Deere. It's blue, not fucking green. Right, lock it round. Not too far around, otherwise we'll tip over. I have actually put this on its side before. I thought she was going then. She was on two. It does. This game does have a bit of, a couple of good physics. You know, you are, but you do get pushed by your trailers. Not very fast, but you do get pushed. The trouble is, you don't want to go too fast around corners. I 
and I don't know how well this thing's going to pull it. Oh, it really did not like that. We'll have to get the little John Deere on it. That thing's got endless amounts of power. Now it seems to be doing all right. Don't miss the farm entrance for God's sake. Now there is a little back road we could take past the farmhouse. Actually, no, it's it's through the field, I think. Is it or is it? Which I'd like to take just simply because it's a bit different than going through the farm like we normally do. Now, which one is it? It's not that one. Oh, there it is. I know where it is. It's this one here. So if we break really hard, turned, open gate, there we go. get stuck, oh get stuck, get wrecked, this is why I don't want this Marshall trailer anymore, it's too fucking big, it's too long really, uh, well we'll have to come down that one, we'll go, we'll go down that one, it is just Ridiculous how fucking long it is. I'll lock this over here. Because it doesn't really follow you that well. Well, you know, you swing and it. Oh fuck, don't put it on its side, for God's sake. You're on camera, Zach, don't put it on its side. So yeah, that little track only comes, just sort of cuts out and it comes up here. It's just nice to go down, you know. It's a bit better than the main farm. Fuck me, you are struggling. Wow, the realistic load figures aren't very good on you, are they? Uh, don't know what that is, no. Where is the fucking radio? Fuck off. Leave it in two. Ah, she's doing well. Seven mile an hour, not too bad. It does eventually crawl back up. And that's with the realistic physics trailer thing put on. I don't know what it's called. Uh, we'll turn around as well. See, so look, it, it just 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 goes onto two wheels all the fucking time. Probably because of the speed. But I seem to find that no matter what speed you turn, it seems to just go on two wheels. Right, now we're gonna spend all the fucking time stacking them. Stacking, stacking, stacking. Turn off. Bip, bip. Bip, bip, and bip. Unless you have all of them off, it won't actually let go. I found that out the hard way the other day. Um, right, we shall stack about two or three. Well, and then that'll be it. That'll be it. It's just easier. Lift. Boop. I'm just all gonna put them not loosely, but you know, just in here. They're not gonna be stacked in any certain way. Well, I'm not gonna try and make like the pyramid or whatever you do with them. I just want them off the fucking trailer. And it does mean we can have quite a big, you know, set of them up. Like, quite a few stored up here. We could do, could probably do every field in hay and then stack them all. But it's whether I could be bothered to go through all that pain. But no. Next episode I'll show you the bale tra the new bale trailer. I'm going to test it on my other game save. Just to... Uh, you know, make sure it's not buggy or anything. I'll stack some squares on it and stack some rounds on it and then flip it over a few times and make sure it doesn't crash the game or whatever. I mean, it is on the mod hub, the official mod hub, so, you know, it can't be that buggy, but sometimes they, sometimes they can be. Fuck off. 
stupid pissy bales. You can see why lots of people do loose, you know. Just dip it on the ground and then just scoop it in. It's a lot faster. You don't get pissed off as much. But I have nice bale textures, you see, so I like to do it with bales. Otherwise, it'd be a bit of a waste of textures. Yeah, there we go. Dump them. Yeah, I am kind of just going to keep dumping them in. There's, I'm not going to stack them very well. And uh, yeah, I'll stack them all off screen. Simply because I like to just try and move on with to something else in the in the next episode. But if if we are still on this, then we're still on it. You know, there's no way around it. We're gonna have to do it. But we are gonna swap bale traders because this marshal is way too fucking long. It's nice and all, but in this game, you know, the game is a bit harsh. In reality, you know, you just mount the grass verge the other side of the road and you'd be alright, but in this game, if you do that, half the time you get stuck anyway. And, uh, I've never really got on with it. But... What can I say, eh? Wow, it's actually, be, it's actually faster to unload than it is to load. Maybe one... Let's play series. We'll actually do. A, I'll actually do. A, I'll actually give a shit and stack these bells properly. I remember I did on Melbury Estate. If you guys remember that, I actually tried really hard with them silage bales and I stacked them. I actually thought I did a really well. Did really well stacking them. But you know. Yep. Right, we're going to turn this one around, like And he's going to roll away like a prick. And... If I'll empty this trailer and then that'll be it. That'll do then. So, gives you about two rows. Yeah, don't fucking freak out. So we should actually have quite a few bales at the end of this. Uh, we have already got the two hay ones that we've got down there. We're going to put into our mixed rations first. Oh, bastard! can tell when I get annoyed because I eventually just stop caring and it you know but we will stack all these I'm gonna get them all in the shed There we go. Last well, second to last one. We got fish. The last one from underneath the trailer. And we're done. But actually, that that did that's actually quite good. That's, this is only off three fields as well. Um, but I would recommend you know in your save game if you haven't actually, you know if you can't put fertilizer on your grass fields, plow them up. And then reseed them into grass and then put fertilizer on. You do get a better yield, as you can quite clearly see here. That was three fields and they weren't very big, and we got a fair few bales. So, you know, it is it it does pay, but I don't know which one's I don't know which one's the best. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed, subscribe more today, and I shall see all of you in the next video. Happy farming. Goodbye.